when you walk around the gallery and you look at all the pretty pictures on the walls, I guess they're pretty. You're going to look and come back here and how are the pretty pictures used? Most of the illustration work that I do here in the studio is done from reference photography. Constantly I will be saying to clients, the better the photo, the better the drawing. They know the person. I don't know the person. All I've got is a uh, physical photograph that they're sending me and I've got to, being that every expression, every line and caricature is an expression. So that's why it's crucial for me in a lot of instances to get a really good quality photo to work with that I might be able to pull some expressions out of. I could probably use this one but he'd be thrilled to death because I, I'd probably end up giving him more hair than he actually has. Oh, you're going to love it. Now, do you wear lipstick at all? Or? Just tremendous. Now, this goes way over here like this. And you got like those fake lenses on the bottom, right? Great eyes. I work with an inking pen. It's probably the only time I'm not using the felt tip markers because the felt tip markers are, are basically a stain where I can get a pretty good line with an inking pen. Marker, unlike oils, unlike acrylics, unlike watercolors, is a stain. You can change colors in acrylics and watercolors and oils and kind of put what you want down. But with marker, every line you put down stays down. People say, well, what if you make a mistake? I said, well, you know, let me tell you something. Being a caricature artist, if I make a mistake, I make it into something else because every line is an expression. So it makes it, you know, when you look at one of these, I call these portrait cartoons opposed to the illustration work that I do. But when you look at one of the ones I do, because of the fact that I've got such a unique style of this this so-called portrait cartoon, you know it's uniquely important. Or you know right away that it's something that I did just by the expressions. And again, what I'm doing now is going back in with a Sharpie marker and just adding little, little lines that, you know, you probably don't know why they're there. And I don't even know why I'm doing it other than it's a feel process. I'm trying to get the hair to sweep the way it swept back then. And as I tell people with my hair, do I have what you call wavy hair? Because it waves bye-bye every day. Good. And let me just get that little smirk here more. Now, you see how she's got the lipstick on her top two teeth? No, I don't. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Boy, you were really nervous. 